So hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me back out on the banks of the beautiful River Ribble and we're in search of silvers on the stick float. As you can see on screen now it's a beautiful morning on the bank, plenty of mist, it's not too cold, it's about 5 or 6 degrees and what a beautiful morning to be on the bank. The sun will come over that horizon shortly and we'll be greeted to a beautiful sunrise. It is a beautiful place to wet a line. It's been a few weeks since we've been on the banks of the River Ribble. We've been chasing other species like pike and chub. But today the river is in fine fettle. It's got some clarity. The pace looks beautiful. And hopefully we'll have an enjoyable day on the bank. So as you can see there, the river looks absolutely beautiful. The gear's all set up behind me and I can't wait to make a start. So looking at the swim, we've got a tree upstream that's pushing the flow out. We've got a bit of a slack here. There are some rocks upstream that pushes the river into the middle. You see we're getting this boily water here. But what we've got, if we look here, a steady pace. And what it means is all our bait is going to go in a straight line. So today we're going to be feeding the maggots probably here. The hemp in front of us so it all just falls. I'll be looking to get a bite in this area here. This line down here I don't think can be ignored. It's got a lovely pace to it just into that little bit of faster water there. So on that line, we are going to feed some casters that have been turning in the week. So the rod that I'm using today is my 17 foot carbon active. I've teamed that up with a switch reel and on there, I've got five pound line. That is down to a 1.6 gram fine line afloat. And I've got no shot in the top part of the rig. So we get to the bottom third where they've got progressively smaller bulks of shot. Got four, number four, three number four and then two number four and then a one number four just above the hook link and that is a two pound hook link I tray nice and simple got plenty of white maggot and that's from witness angling center now last week we were planning to come out and later on in the week the river did turn for the worse so i had lots of maggot last week so turn some casters this week and there for that inside line got plenty of hinders hemp it's just perfect, isn't it? Split nicely, and hopefully, the dace and the roach today won't be able to resist. Bit of terminal tackle, but again, like I always say on the channel, stick float fishing is nice and simple. You don't need loads of tackle, but you can be on the bank on mornings like today and have plenty of fun. So let's make a start. But like I said, nice and simple today. Just going to flick out in front of me. Feed them maggots upstream. A bit of hemp in front so it's all going down in a line. I'm just going to feed some of them casters just on that inside line there. You can see that floats going down. Just going to hold it back. Just edge it through the swim. And hopefully that column of bait is just going to start going down the swim there. And that's what you're trying to make at the start. You want just to begin to get a line of bait going through the swim. And begin to work out you know, where the snags are and where the rocks are. Just pinch of hemp and then maggots and you're just building that line of bait the fish at the moment will all be all over the river and what you're trying to do is just congregate them into this area and there we go there's the first fish of the day and it's just come that nice distance down the swim so you put the bait there the hemp and it's just going down in that column that's the first fish just coming to that column of bait and that's a great start really you know to get a bite so early on it's been a long week in work most definitely there's a lot going on with my work life at the moment and i've been looking forward to this morning and when i was sat at my desk working hard i was thinking about a palm full of days really but more than happy with mr roach so a lovely start to the session there to get a bite so early on keep feeding them maggots upstream that hemp just in front of me and then just a pinch of them casters on that inside crease there just on the edge of it there we go there's another one it's a great start to the session most definitely and the second fish of the day a lovely plump river ribble roach um yeah boy have i missed the river ribble There we go, there's another one. That beautiful morning, that mist just rising and that float just jagging in the flow. 
and just buried on the outside of that crease. It's another roach which don't mind catching these all day most definitely because they are of a decent quality. As a start to a session goes, it's been a nice one. You can't complain with roach fishing like that and long may it continue. It does look like it's going to be a clear day. You know, there's not loads of cloud cover behind that mist, but to make the most of it at the start. And it was well worth the effort already. So like you've seen there, beautiful start to the session. That sun now just coming over the horizon, a bend in the rod. And we're connected to what feels like another nice roach. And does a fishing scene come any better on a river than that? A roach breaking the surface and the sun just coming up at the start of a day. A beautiful time to be on the bank. You see the sun reflecting off its scales a beautiful way to start a day. The woes of the week in work most definitely ebbing away like the river in front of me. You see there, it's coming that beautiful way down the swim and I do hope on the GoPro it isn't ruining it too much that sun. It is lovely when it's in your face and warming on a cold winter's day but then bites are coming just in the perfect part of the swimming. If we had the whip today it would be straight to hand but it's a lovely way we've started this session. The bites coming steady and they're a good quality as well. All the roads so far have been a great stamp and there'll certainly be a nice net at the end of it carries on. But simple tactics, you can see there, a few shot, a float, a reel and a rod. The praising that sun before, it's right where I'm getting my bites now, so I'm cursing it. But one thing regulars to the channel will know I won't curse is Mr Dace. My favourite fish of all, and great to see some days coming into the mix. And the hoodie's off. It's a beautiful morning on the bank, most definitely. It's definitely not a cold morning now. That float's just buried, just where that hemp and maggots are hitting the bottom. And it is a bite of chuck at the moment. And I do love all the fishing that I do on the channel. You know, going for pike, chub, carp, any species. But coming up on the stick float to the River Ribble, getting up early in the morning, coming up here with my uncle Lazar who's also getting bites downstream, well worth the effort and one of my most enjoyable forms of fishing. So we're well into the session now and at the start we were just trying to build them columns of bait. Now we've got it well established and we've got fish now just holding just below the peg. A nice distance, we can cast in, the float can settle, we can feed and then hold back and we're getting all the bites now just below the peg. Just getting into that routine, casting in, feeding those maggots, a few casters, a little pinch of hemp right in front of us and we're just trying to hold them fish now just below the peg. You see there, just edging that float through the swim. It literally is a bite of chuck. So it's just a case of casting in, feeding those maggots, a few of them casters, and a bit of hemp right in front of us and just edging that bait through the swim. We're just trying to just go through with that column of bait. 
you can see there it's a nice distance down the swim there's a shoal of fish and we're just going through with that column of bait and picking them off and it is a bite of chuck I think I've said lovely too many times so we'll say that is just a beautiful roach imperfect in mint condition and on that 17 foot rod that's made for the job just a joy to catch and we had some nice roach to start the session and now these dace have moved in and that is a quality dace I say when you start heading up your arm you know it's a decent one it has been an enjoyable morning on the bank I've had plenty of bites that sunshine has played a bit of havoc with the filming and I do apologise my bites have been right on it at times and my eyes stinging a bit. <laughs> so I'm having a quick break. But yeah, I always do this on a session. No matter whether it's first thing in the morning or halfway through the day, I always just stop and just chill out for five or ten minutes. It's what it's all about. It's why we make the effort, isn't it? To be bankside on these beautiful winter days. It really is good fishing. Just taking a time, not rushing. And there you go, another quality days. Feed those maggots over an area, so you don't want all the fish on a dinner plate. <clears throat> and then just holding that float, backing that bait to come a bit closer in this time. But because we're feeding over an area, it allows you to go over that area. If we were feeding really tightly, all the fish would be really condensed. There you go, it's another bite straight away. And again, the maggot's okay, so cast in. Feeding some of them casters. Being really positive with the maggot. A pinch of hemp right in front of us. And then we're set with the float in the right area. Just edge it through. There we go. It is literally really good fishing and how you can just manipulate a shoal and keep putting that bait in and at the start they were there really but now they really are lined up and it is a bite of chuck you can see there just holding it in that stream of bait these fish are just straight on it and because we've got that shotting pattern right that bait's just fluttering up in the flow and them dates are just intercepting it as it goes through it's all about getting in the routine of that feeding and then just holding that float back so you're set for the bite you see there <laughs> it really is good fishing and we'll have a definitely have a nice net at the end so these days now have moved in kind of bullied them roach out a little bit so we're into the afternoon now and the bites have just kept on coming it's been great just working this swim and conditions you can see clear but with them light tactics just keeping the bites coming and i really have enjoyed today it's been great fun i was looking forward to it all week and then it hasn't disappointed us all what beautiful fish the roach is that bright orange eye that gill cover that's tinged brown like all ribble fish seem to be it's a lovely example of the species so we started the day with mr roach and we're going to end the session with mr roach what we'll do now is we'll take a look at that final net i've probably got maybe half an hour 45 minutes of the day left so i'm just gonna have a bit of time at the end of the week just trying to get a few bites without the camera but i'll catch you all at the very end and we'll take a look so the session does come to an end there now and as you can see on screen it's been a really nice day's fishing with plenty of bites before we do end the video i just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that likes the channel leaves the support and the comments and enjoys the videos it really is appreciated and i love logging in on a monday and reading the comments and with that i just want to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing and i'll catch it all next week tight lines